Good evening, uh, guys. What's going on there? Uh, it is the Earthmaster here on the live stream. Uh, just going to do an update video on this uh, November 9th, 2021 date, about 510, Califor 510 p.m. California time. Latest quake out there on the Earthquake 3D Globe, 4.6 earthquake, right around the uh, Indonesia area, looks like. Cluster of quakes taking place there in that region over the last 24 hours. Also, a uh, pretty large earthquake that struck out uh, last night, late last night, early this morning off the coast. Down here in this part of the world is 6.2. Let's go ahead and check out some specifics of the uh, activity that's occurring out there around the uh, Middle America Trench. Back off here real quick. See if I can get this thing to pop up like I want it to. There we go. I'm going to show you guys this station list here in a little bit. A little earthquake swarming, of course, uh, occurring down in Utah. I'll show you those maps here uh, in a little bit. But uh, the movement off the coast here in the Middle America Trench. 6.2 occurring last night. Off the coast, being felt all over the place, inland, uh, Costa Rica area, uh, Nicaragua area, and also uh, areas up around El Salvador. Uh, some reports filling it up there as well. So pretty large quake prior to that. We've seen a couple upper fives, a 5.8 and 5.7. And then this one occurring uh, just looks like a minute after that 5.7. So still kind of watching this area. They've all been occurring about 35 kilometers below the surface um, so still potential there uh, for some possible further movement just kind of uh, watching this area at the moment areas northward across Mexico uh, relatively quiet we have seen some movement into the California area uh, as far as 2.5 and above goes but uh, other than that there's not a whole lot of major movement taking place in Southern Cal did see some activity around the uh, um, well, well east of Victorville, Bar Barstow region. Seen a 2.6 near the Lucerne Valley, 6.8 kilometers, very typical depth for the uh, Southern California region. Salton Sea looking pretty quiet and areas to the west. Just a little uh, quake here within the last hour, it looks like. Uh, 1.2 at 8.3 kilometers. We did see some activity across the Garlock Fault structure, just a little microquake activity and some quarry blast. Not for sure what's going on. It seems as though we see uh, some movement taking place every time they do these little query blasts. I shouldn't say little because some of them uh, register up around the 2.0 magnitude. This one here is a 1.6, but I have seen some that uh, stretch up. They're pretty, uh, pretty large on the magnitude scale. Ridgecrest area seen some activity as well. Um, up through the eastern Sierra Nevada. Nevada looking... Looking a little bit on the more quiet side today, but not completely quiet uh, compared to last night. Some movement up around the Tonopah area into the uh, desert of Nevada. Also down here, or up here, around the Petrolia area, 2.8. Subduction zone earthquake around the Cascadia subduction zone, 24 kilometers. Down dip, downstream there of the locked area of the Cascadia subduction zone. Also some movement taking place in the Yellowstone area. You can see some activity ramping up around the uh, northwest corner of the park, 2.3. And uh, a couple other uh, smaller earthquakes within the vicinity of Yellowstone National Park. Some activity up around the Seattle, Washington area as well, including a 3.0 earthquake. Struck uh, Big Lake, Washington. Of course, they have some tornado warnings up around here today. Kind of, Kind of crazy weather. Pretty awesome. It's good to see some uh, some weather finally hitting out here along the west coast. Uh, that 3.0 striking at about 16 kilometers below surface. Also Victorville, uh, Victoria area. I was going to say Victorville, but uh, up northwest of the 3.0, we've seen some more shallow earthquake activity and also east of Seattle right before the uh, Cascade Range here, a 2.2, 17 kilometers below surface for that earthquake. Uh, looking over here to the east, not a whole lot to mention. Some scattered earthquake activity throughout Texas and Kansas region. Areas to the east, all quiet. Uh, movement through Alaska, up and down the state, looking pretty uh, typical for this area of the plates. Uh, Lucian Trench, uh, pretty quiet and stretching over here along the Japan Trench, all quiet once again. Of course, we did see some further deep movement yesterday into the uh, Philippine Plate area. That has since died down and quieted out very nicely. Um, some movement over to the west and the southwest here, as I mentioned, around the uh, 
Well, this is actually south, just south of the Philippines here, along the Philippine Trench. So movement into that area. Also uh, a little deep earthquake activity kicking up here in this region too with a 4.608 kilometers for that earthquake. Uh, but if you look at the overall picture here, folks, relatively quiet um, throughout this area of the Pacific Ring of Fire, stretching down through New Zealand as well, just uh, very absent of earthquake activity all up and down this region. Uh, we did see some activity kick up through uh, just north of India area, a couple forests kicking up here, including an earthquake up around the Afghanistan region. Mediterranean Sea, very quiet. The Atlantic Ocean, South Sandwich Islands, all quiet for now. Uh, just kind of keeping an eye on some uh, movement in the Northwest or in the uh, North American continent here. Seems to be the uh, only area that's really shown some uh, uh, anything worth noting today. Activity on the Big Island, kind of kind of minimal. Although if you look down here around the Loihi Seamount, we did see. Uh, pretty pretty close on that area, 2.3 out there in the Pacific, Loihi Seamount, South Rift Zone, showing a little bit of activity, nothing to worry about at the moment, but uh, definitely don't want to see that thing kicking up. Of course, Hawaii has been pretty active over the last couple of years, and uh, no doubt it's expected to continue that for quite some time. Uh, what else we got here? Let's go ahead and check out the Yellowstone region real quick, and uh, here's the activity kicking up last night prior to the 6.2 that struck there down south around the middle America trench you can see the uh, activity there at Yellowstone distinct localized earthquake there is the 6.2 that struck since then over the last uh, well throughout the day today it's been relatively quiet just a couple small microquakes kicking off in the region of Yellowstone National Park the area in Utah, that's going to be this region right here, right around the cedar area of Utah, showing some movement. Uh, some of the activity, I can't get this station up here to kick up. This one here does pop up, and it does show some activity. Let me see if I can uh, open this in a new tab so you guys can actually see what I'm seeing here. Um, there we go. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yep does show some uh, swarming activity kicking up. This here is at 6.2, kind of similar to what you would see on the Yellowstone stations there. Uh, definitely a whole lot of movement, some microquakes occurring around the Utah area. I'm gonna have to keep, uh, keep an eye on this area more often. Uh, USGS, of course, is not showing all these quakes that are taking place, only the bigger ones. And on the USGS map, the bigger ones include uh, 2.3 and a couple twos and some smaller quakes, but there's much, much more. But look at the depth of these quakes. They're all negative, which is kind of odd. I find that just a little on the odd side, folks. And uh, I believe these have been reviewed by a professional, right? Reviewed by someone with a, uh, obviously with some intelligence, right? A little sarcasm there. Reviewed is the status and the depth negative 2.7 what, what's going on out there some explosions in the utah area who knows it is out there in a region where uh there's not a whole lot of historical historical earthquake activity uh, of course this would be uh 4.0 and above i believe if uh if it were to show it but uh there's just not a whole lot let's go ahead and look at the satellite imagery out there see what's going on and uh you know it's just it's we've been having kind of a swarm in this region for quite some time let's go back to the all magnitudes and you guys can see over the last 30 days about 223 earthquakes out in utah and uh it kind of stretches just out there throughout the mountains not for sure if there's any uh type of uh, old volcanic activity out here I'm, I'm, i think it's possible that there could be but it's also uh you know it's kind of hard to say it's all it's all negative, and that's what I don't get. It's kind of weird. Look at all these negative numbers. Negative on the depths of these earthquakes. And if you go down the list, they're all negative. I mean, what's going on up there? You know, are they not accounting for the uh, the mountain ranges? Normally, this is uh, below the, uh, the surface here, and all of these are in the negative range, all of them. You go back, 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 back. 
all negatives. That's supposed to be the depth below the surface. So unless something has changed, um, all these quakes are happening in the air. Just a little on the strange side. I'll have to look into that and see what uh, see what's going on. Uh, I might get a hold of a couple people inquire about this movement out here in the uh, Utah region. There's no doubt fault systems out here, but uh, as far as it being listed on the map, I just don't uh, just don't really see it at the moment around the Cedar, Utah area. Uh, what else we got as far as the tremor map goes? I'm not for certain if this has even been put out yet. Uh, it does show the 9th, and this is like uh, either the 3rd or 4th day in a row with no activity. No tremor movement whatsoever um, along the Cascadia subduction zone. Of course, that's not, not, uh, you know, not unheard of. There are these little quiet spells and spells of uptick in activity, but... Uh, you know, right now we're on that downhill trend of nothing, not a whole lot going on, no no movement as far as the subduction, the trimmer between the North American and the uh, Juan de Fuca plate. Pretty quiet. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna jump off here. Didn't get didn't get a chance yet to check all the images. Uh, do want to include those on my update videos? It's gonna Hopefully I'll get to it tomorrow. Just had some unexpected stuff pop up. So kind of dealing with that at the moment. But uh, we will be uh, getting those viewer photos on here uh, in the update videos nightly. I just kind of want to get back into that. So, all right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe out there. Uh, we will chat at you a little bit later. Peace out, everyone.